Hey guys, happy Saturday. It's the weekend. How do you feel? Cool. Me too. All right. So what's happening today is that we're going to do deadlifts. All right. Um, we're going to take 10 minutes to kind of put some sort of like moderately heavy weight on the bar. Then we'll have um, our schedule every two, two and a half minutes. Uh, whenever we start the clock, the reps will be low. The rest will be plentiful. Um, and so just make sure it's a weight where like the rest is justified. All right. So if you execute one rep, and then like 30 seconds later, you feel like you can do the same rep again with the same force or the energy output, um, I'd recommend or I suggest that weight might be a tad touch on the lighter end, all right? And so use a weight where the rest is justified, um, or if not, just figure out ways to kind of like mobilize and afford the time that you give yourself. Um, and just biggest thing is just stand safe. But the deadlift, um, and I talk about weight with 75 pounds on the bar. <laughs> I know, it's pretty funny. So deadlifts, um, bar stays close, right? Um, it's a leg driven movement. So as we stand up, we wanna think about pressing the feet through the floor. Um, I just really wanna avoid pulling with my hands at all costs. Like my hands would be on the bar, the barbell would move um, for sure. But it's been generated by my lower body. It'd be like a lower body push, not an upper body pull, all right? And so um, sometimes I can kind of tell when the upper body pull happens because we kind of finish like in this nice standing position. And then it's not like necessarily the worst thing, especially when there's like weight you can manage. But whenever we kind of like try to push ourselves to the upper limits, um, muscles kind of like recruit out of order and then you just kind of increase your injury risk. And then I just really want to help you guys not increase your injury risk, all right? So with the deadlift, the hips to be a little bit higher, the chest to be over the bar, the bar still be close. And so if I'm setting up for an Olympic lift, I'm gonna drop my butt and then I'm gonna have my chest up on the way up. But here in this deadlift, I'm gonna push my knees back. Again, I'm gonna have tension on my hamstring from the beginning. And now I just push my feet into the floor and stand up, back down, stand up. All right, so that'll be your deadlift. Again, um, kind of play with your heavy end spectrum today um, and then that's it once to get done with that guys we'll have some conditioning the condition will be broken up with a bike and a run um, so it'll be bike movement run and you guys to kind of do those things for i believe it's six or seven rounds um, but the movement the only movement that's not a bike or a run is the burpee boxing program all right so the burpee you guys can do this laterally or you guys can do um facing box facing burpee jump overs but we can just come down into this burpee jump over all right and so some people will step over um like that you guys can step laterally jump laterally j jump head facing or whatever that is but that'll be your workout Guys, this is Saturday, it's a partner workout, so make sure you find somebody you like or don't know, get to know them, have fun, go get it.